In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, God's good people, and welcome. I am Reverend Father Blessed Ambang Njume, welcoming you to today's edition of Catholic Meditation. Today is Monday, the 19th of July, 2021. It is Monday of the 16th week in Ordinary Time, Church Year B. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of Exodus, chapter 14, verses 5 to 18. The responsorial psalm is taken from the book of Exodus. The response to the psalm is, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The gospel is taken from St. Matthew, chapter 12, verses 38 to 42. We read from the first reading. In those days, when the king of Egypt was told that the people had fled, the mind of Pharaoh and his servants was changed towards the people, and they said, What is this we have done, that we have let Israel go from serving us? So he made ready his chariot, and took his army with him, and took six hundred picked chariots, and all the other chariots of Egypt with officers over all of them. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh king of Egypt, and he pursued the sons of Israel as they went forth defiantly. The Egyptians pursued them, all Pharaoh's horses and chariots and his horsemen and his army, and overtook them encamped at the sea by Pihahithroth, in front of Bar Zephon. When Pharaoh drew near, the sons of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians were marching after them, and they were in great fear. And the sons of Israel cried out to the Lord, and they said to Moses, Is it because there were no graves in Egypt that you have taken us away to die in the wilderness? What have you done to us in bringing us out of Egypt? Is it not this? Is this not what we said to you in Egypt? Let us alone and let us serve the Egyptians, for it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the wilderness. And Moses said to the people, Fear not, stand firm, and see the salvation of the Lord which he will work for you today. For the Egyptians you see today, you shall never see them again. The Lord will fight for you, and you have only to be still. The Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Tell the sons of Israel to go forward. Lift up your rod, and stretch out your hand over the sea, and divide it that the sons of Israel may go on dry ground through the sea. And I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians, so that they shall go in after them. And I will get glory over Pharaoh and all his hosts, his chariots and his horsemen. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord. When I have gotten glory over Pharaoh, his chariots and his horsemen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The theme for today's meditation is Do not fear Do not doubt God is in total control of every difficulty you go through Do not fear Do not doubt God is in total control of every difficulty you go through Dearly beloved of God We return to our Exodus story. There is great progress. Pharaoh has succumbed, or so it seems, and has finally allowed the Israelites to move out of Egypt. In today's portion of the story, the Israelites are en route away from Egypt to the promised land. At last. Like at the Passover, There is one symbolic action they must do. They must cross the Red Sea. It stood as the very first obstacle on their way out of Egypt. There was the Red Sea. It stood in front of them. It was, as it were, the boundary line or main exit out of Egypt. Pharaoh, though he succumbed, had not given up. So he sent his soldiers and chariots in pursuit of the Israelites to bring them back. Till they had crossed the Red Sea, the Israelites could not have begun the journey out of Egypt and neither could they have been completely free from the Egyptians. They were caught up between two evils. One, the pursuing Egyptian chariots and two, the dead Red Sea. Fear caught them. When they saw the Egyptians after them, they began to query Moses, and with his staff in his hand and on God's instruction, Moses struck the sea and it split, and the Israelites crossed on dry land. Something hitherto ever seen or heard, that they crossed the Red Sea on dry land. Dear friends in Christ, two beautiful lessons to learn from today's story. One, the ever unfailing presence of God and his action in our lives to save us in times of difficulty. The psalm of today, after they crossed the Red Sea, the people sang, I will sing to the Lord glorious his triumph when they saw what he did to Pharaoh and his chariots and horsemen. Oh dear child of God, God is present in every difficulty you go through. When you too are faced with your own dead Red Sea and your enemies like the Egyptian horsemen and chariots after you and you feel like you're in a dilemma, God is right there in that difficult situation to make a way out for you. In times of trouble, we too fear like the Israelites, we too doubt and we forget the many wonderful things God has done in the past. Now you will remember that even before they began the journey out of Egypt, God had already given them signs. Egypt had suffered from ten plagues. Here they were. They met another difficulty, but they had forgotten that this very God who had done wonderful things could still do them. The same with us, dear friends, and this is what fear does. When you allow fear to get into your heart, it makes you forget even just the last second the wonders that God did for you. And this is what the devil does. Because he wants to discourage us from trusting God, he brings fear. And I tell you, fear makes you forget every wonder that God can do. Today, from this story, God wants you to know that the Egyptians you see today, you will see no more. Your troubles you see today, you will see no more. Be still and let the Lord fight the battle for you so that your enemies will know it is he, the Lord, fighting for you. Your enemies will know you serve a living God. But oh dear child of God, only one thing. Do not fear and do not doubt. This is what God told Moses to tell the Israelites. Do not fear. Do not doubt. Do you know whom you serve? He is a living God. A God of possibilities. The second lesson. The sacrament of baptism. During every Easter vigil, we are reminded by this same reading that when the sons of Israel crossed the Red Sea, it is a symbol of baptism for us Christians. When we too cross over through the waters of baptism from our old life of sin 
to a life of grace in Christ Jesus. For the Israelites, it was a crossing over from slavery in Egypt to the freedom of the children of God. For us Christians, the waters of the Red Sea are symbolized by the waters of baptism when we too cross over, as it were, from the life of sin to a life of grace in Christ Jesus. Dear friends in Christ, let this story assure us that we have a God of possibilities, a God who is always ready with every solution when we encounter any difficulty. Only one thing, dear friend, do not fear. Do not doubt. You serve a God who is mightier than your enemies. You serve a God who is mightier than the problems you go through. You serve a God who has the answer to every difficulty. Only turn to him in trust. And like he told Moses to strike the sea with his staff, he will strike those difficulties for you. And I tell you, you will pass through dry shod. Courage, dear child of God. Faith and never give up. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen.